Okay, hi everyone. Uh, my name is Faust6. Um, I'm gonna do a quick tutorial how to play uh, Marilyn Manson's Perfume. So the tuning is E flat standard tuning, so your guitar must be tuned uh, half step down from standard. So this is E flat, A flat, D flat, G flat, B flat, and E flat again. So. So you are an E flat standard tuning. So the next thing to do is the very intro, which is also the main riff of the song. Um, it starts with, by the way, I'm gonna put the taps alongside so you can play with me, but it's basically a power chord with a fifth under the, the root note. So normally it's like this, but you actually wanna play a whole bar in the fourth fret of the low E string. So you go. Okay, so that would be fourth fret on the E string, fourth fret on the A string, and sixth fret on the D string. So you got the first chord. So you go, you play it twice. And that's the pretty much uh, the same thing you're gonna do with the next chord. So the next chord is uh, E power chord. So you go, the next one is the same thing, just like this, but you do it on the, on the second fret, okay? So you go second fret on the E sixth string, second fret on the A string, and fourth fret on the D string. So you got, and the last one is uh, a power chord on the, on the second fret too. But this time, you play the 2nd fret on the E string, 4th fret on the A string, and 4th fret on the D string. So you got this. So you play this whole 4 chords uh, twice, so it goes something like this. Okay, so always remember to mute the strings after you play it twice. The next section is a, a really simple bridge, I think it is. So I figure it out like this. I play open A string in a gallop motion. Then you play the fourth fret on the E string. Then the fifth fret on the A string. And then the fourth fret on the A string. So you got you repeat that twice and that never appears again on the song. Now we're gonna play the chorus. So the chorus is easy and simple too. It basically starts with the E power chord. Of course I know this is E flat because my guitar is tuned to E flat but I'm referencing as if my guitar was in standard tuning. So, uh, keep that in mind, you know what I mean by that. So, uh, again, it's E, E, E power chord. Then you go to the E flat. And finally, C sharp. So you go like this. So you repeat that motion, except the second time you repeat this, you don't go to the E, you go extend to the A power chord. Okay, so it's the same thing. Okay, at the end of the chorus, we got a lead, a lead guitar that does this motion. It's super simple, you just play the 5th fret and the 7th fret on the B string, so it goes 5th, 7, twice, and the second time you play that, you bend your string a little bit, so it goes, and then you repeat this motion, 5, 7, 5, Six on the G string, so it's like super 
super simple. After that we got pretty much the main riff again. But we also got these palm muted things. So it's that's that's pretty intuitive. It's just you cover your strings with your hand and you start uh, doing the rhythm section. And you just combine both. And at the end of that second verse, you end up with a with your first power chord. Okay? And we enter the chorus again, so... Okay, that's pretty much simple. In the final part of the song, we got a synthesizer that makes this sound. That is super simple. It's just 14, 16, then you play 13, 14, 16, and 17 on the B string. So if you do it quickly. As you can see this last note, I keep, I, I let it ring while I'm playing the 16th fret on the high E string. So you make this chord. It's like this. Okay. And while you do that, the other guitar is playing the the main riff just like this. while the other guitar, or actually the synthesizer, does this. You might want to add a lot of uh, cool guitar effects to make it sound like a synthesizer. And at the very end we just have this last riff, which is... So you do E power chord, but you add the low fifth, which is this, so it's... 7, 7th seven fret on the low E string, 7th fret on the A string, and 9th fret on the D string. You just play once, and you slide down to the, to the very first chord of the, of the song. And that's pretty much it. That's basically the whole song. I hope you enjoy this video, this quick tutorial, actually, I'm, this is my very first time I'm teaching something, so uh, I hope you enjoy this. Uh, anyways, if you have any questions about the guitar effects or the tone I'm using for my covers or whatever, feel free to message me on Instagram or, or write some comments, I'll be happy to help you. Thanks a lot, see you in the next video.